This is an excerpt from a recent Power Up webinar on color correction and grading in Apple Final Cut Pro 10. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this excerpt, I'll show you how to use two automated color correction tools. And it starts with the new Balance Color Tool. The Balance Color Tool was one of the most useless color tools that I've seen from Apple in a long time until 10.4 came out. Apple made one small change to this tool, which makes all the difference. Now it can easily be your go-to tool when you need to improve an image quickly and you have very, very little time. Let me show you how it works. <laughs> Why are we not surprised it's a train? We have a train. And it's got a nice color look to it. Look at the the nice bright colors, the greenness of the foliage, the brown and the ballast. It looks good. So this is fine. But that is not. That's blue-green. It's the same train. It's the same setup, but the color on the camera changed. And we need to tweak it. Well, there's a couple ways we could do that. First, select the clip. Go up to this magic wand tool here. And with the magic wand, I'm going to say match color. This allows me to match the color of one shot to another shot. So I'm going to skim over and find a similar frame. Notice the difference between the good one on the left and the bad one on the right. I'm going to click on the frame that I like, and it instantly adjusts the clip on the right to more closely match it. Click Apply Match, and you're done. It isn't as good as I could do when I was doing manual correction, but if you've only got a few seconds and you have a shot that is looking good compared to the one that isn't looking good, match color works. But now we have a new option. Let's go back to the magic wand, go to balance color. And the balance color, all right, says, see, just by clicking it, it's a little bit better. But if I open the inspector, here's what's new. The new part is the method. In the past, it would just do the best it could to guess what the color needs to be. I'm going to set this to white balance. And I'm going to find an area in the shot that's supposed to be white. Remember, if something is gray, it must contain equal amounts of red, green, and blue. Now, this is overexposed. You don't want to use something which is blown out for color adjustments because there's no data there to begin with. This white, however, is not blown out. So I'm going to take the eyedropper tool and click on a properly exposed white and click it. And notice that what it's just done is it's dialed out that blue-greenness. And now we've got nice brown gravel. We've got nice colors. White balance option on the balance color tool does is it remembers that if something is supposed to be gray, it must contain equal amounts of red, green, and blue, and it dials in compensating amounts of red, green, and blue to take away the color cast. This is just amazing. Here's a, another example. She's green. I don't want her to be green, but she's green. Now, I could, and I will show you in just a minute how, we can manually color correct this and dial in exactly the colors that we want, but people are standing over your shoulder, they're screaming, they need to get this posted like yesterday, and she can't be green. Do you have something fast you can apply? The answer is yes. Select the clip, go to the magic wand, say balance color, switch this from automatic to white balance, and look for something that's supposed to be white. Not grayscale white, not bright, just a nice gray, something that's supposed to be gray. I'm going to click on her, her t-shirt. Look at that. This is before, this is after. Before, after. A nanosecond. And it's dialed out that green color cast and made her look wonderful. This new setting in the balance color tool makes all the difference between a useless tool and an extremely useful tool. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar on color correction and grading in Apple Final Cut Pro 10. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at LarryJordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 261. By the way, membership is a great value when you need to stretch your training dollars. Membership in our video training library saves you money and 
time. You can access all of our videos for a low monthly price of only nineteen ninety nine. That's more than 1,900 movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.